bees are in trouble, and so the survival has got to be important. That's all I knew about bees then, but since then I've, I've learned a lot and I'm learning. I got involved with uh, the Bee Integrated Project because I think it's a really good way to communicate to the ag industry and I like the concept of showing farmers some different things that they could probably do to help maintain sustainability, not only just for the honeybees, but for wildlife in general. The coalition is a diverse group of organizations and individuals coming together to promote the honeybee health in the context of productive agriculture and thriving ecosystems. We have more than 40 member organizations including beekeepers, crop producers, agribusinesses, consumer facing companies, uh, NGOs, agencies, um, researchers and more. Well, the idea is to pair a, a beekeeper and a farmer together and provide them technical support consultants in carrying out each of the three or four major categories of best practices that correspond to the principal causes of the decline in honeybee health. And those would be mitigating the impacts of pesticides, controlling varroa mites that spread the diseases that kill bees, providing better habitat to strengthen the bee's immune system, and then to share the outcome information with other beekeepers and farmers. Not all pollinator habitat is created equal. We needed to be designing our pollinator habitat projects with species adapted locally, species that have high pollinator value, species that will work in this type of project. So the Bee and Butterfly Habitat Fund provides the forage aspects of the Bee Integrated Program. So much like we do with the rest of the country in our Seed a Legacy Program, we're providing free pollinator seed mixtures on public, private, and corporate land. For every colony or apiary that we monitor for the Bee Integrated Project, we have a hive scale. So that's using a hive scale to measure nectar collection which ultimately is what a beekeeper cares about is honey production. We also use the pollen traps where we do the genetic identification of the bee collected pollen and then finally we go out into all the bee and butterfly habitat funds, those bee integrated plots that look like this and we quantify what flowers are coming up and when. So we can see what was seeded, what ultimately grew and then what are the bees using. This is a good opportunity for beekeepers to implement these different management practices, these different mite treatments into their operation and try to find the best way to use them, um, how to use them and understand how they can implement this into their entire operation. So for the um, hive management aspect, we have the Bee Informed Partnership that does a great job with their tech transfer teams on the training and implementing those practices for the beekeepers. For um, the pesticide uh, best management practices, we actually do specific training with um, the farmers and the applicators. We have them come in for a special session ahead of planting season, because we recognize that a lot of farmers have a need to use seed treatments, so on different seed products that they plant. And so we want them to know how to do that in the best way possible. The pollinator plan is a set of best management practices. So it's essentially guidelines for growers, applicators, and beekeepers that they can follow to communicate and to, like we said, reduce these issues on both sides. North Dakota is the number one honey producing state in the nation and we produce approximately twice as much honey as the number two producing state. This summer, so far, there are 672,000 colonies registered in the state. Those colonies are sitting on nearly 17,000 registered locations. We got involved because CTIC does a lot of these kind of in-field, practical, you know, real farmer demo kind of things. So I'd like to try to be able to show how you know, these systems can be productive and profitable and practical, and so it's good to have you know, a real farmer and a real beekeeper's perspective. I'm involved in the Bee Integrated Demonstration Project because I feel like that we have a responsibility as beekeepers to tell our story. And we're working with everybody in agriculture and everybody who has to do with landscape decisions. And so if we're going to change the paradigm, we've got to show everybody not only what's happening in our business, but how it relates to the rest of agriculture. And now with the Integrated Project, we have an opportunity to bring that research together and demonstrate it in one place, and we can let everybody see it. That'll, I think, help to raise awareness and probably help to inform further research and decisions made for policy and it's just a good idea to promote bee health.